Hey everyone, my name is Wedge, and welcome to week two of Oath of the Gay Watch spoiler season. Last week, we were introduced to a ton of new ridiculous cards. Let's hope that this week doesn't disappoint either as we approach the full set reveal this Friday. Let's get right into it, and if you enjoy these spoiler videos, please make sure to hit that like button. It lets us know you're happy. Time for a mythic instant burn spell. Yeah, crazy. Kozilek's return returning his three mana for an instant with Devoid. It deals two damage to each creature. Whenever you cast an Eldrazi creature spell with converted mana cost seven or greater, you may exile the return from your graveyard. If you do, it deals five damage to each creature. Holy crap, Kozilek's return is ridiculous. Say hello to the newest sweeper in modern. Both Tron and new Eldrazi-based modern strategies will test this card. Think about it. These are late game decks that allow their opponents to flood the board early. Kozilek's return annihilates early pressure, and even if they rebuild, it comes back when you play something huge and absolutely demolishes whatever's left. It even hits Etch Champion because it's a colorless spell. Absolute monster in the format, I truly believe that. Again, we're talking about a way to stem early bleeding and then virtually guarantee a board wipe against most any creature based strategy. And it's instant speed, I mean, come on, that's broken. Sifter of Skulls, great name, is 4 mana for a 4-3 Eldrazi with Devoid. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, put a 1-1 colorless Eldrazi Scion token onto the battlefield. The first thing that comes to mind is the synergy with Nantuko Husk and a bunch of non-token creatures. Feed them to the Husk, get a bunch of free tokens, feed those too. The problem is you can't grab it with Collected Company, which is a huge detractor. Outside of Standard, this card is much more interesting in Commander in the new Marin deck or something like Carador. You can never underestimate nice sacrifice fodder generators. Mm -mm -mm. Our Oath cycle continues with Oath of Gideon, 3 mana for a legendary enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, put two 1-1 one -one core ally tokens onto the battlefield. Each planeswalker you control enters the battlefield with an additional loyalty counter on it. Next to Oath of Nyssa, this is now my favorite Oath. You do realize that this synergizes with Gideon's Planeswalker card really well. Okay, so you play the Oath, get your tokens. Then next turn you play Gideon, use his last ability, make your core tokens 2-2s, two and Gideon doesn't even die thanks to the increased loyalty. It's very cool. Also, for those asking, when the Magic Origins walkers flip to their Planeswalker form, they will get the additional loyalty counter. Remember, they exile and enter the battlefield all over again, so the more you know. Yay, counter time! Overwhelming Denial is 2 of anything and 2 blue for an instant with Surge costing 2 blue. You may cast this spell for 2 blue if you or a teammate has cast another spell this turn. Overwhelming Denial can't be countered by spells or abilities. Counter target spell. Okay, okay, so this is the closest we've gotten to counter spell in a long time. Now, don't get me wrong, it won't be super easy to surge this all the time, but when you do, we're talking about counter spell but uncounterable. That's awesome. For the record, it's uncounterable even if you don't pay the surge cost, so at least it has that going for it. Basically, a strict upgrade to last word is what we're looking at. I'm okay with it. I wonder what made Wizards so afraid that they printed this and Sphinx of the Final Word in the same set. That's, that's weird. Embodiment of Insight is 5 mana for a 4-4 elemental with Vigilance. Land creatures you control have Vigilance. It also has Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may have target land become a 3-3 elemental creature with a haste until end of turn. Just like the red version before it, this thing is going to be outrageous and limited. Vigilance is actually a pretty sweet keyword to give lands specifically. It lets you attack with them and use them for mana afterwards. Nice synergy there. Now, Vigilance isn't normally granted by green creatures, but red and green are the landfall colors, so I can understand it here rather than on a white card. With all that said, limited bomb. Pick it first, probably. Worldbreaker is 7 mana for a 5-7 Eldrazi with Devoid and Reach. When you cast it, exile target artifact enchantment or land. You can also pay 2 of anything and 1 colorless and sacrifice a land to return it from your graveyard to your hand. Wow, this card is, I mean, it's a giant beat stick with reach that comes with a reclaiming vines. I like the wording on the ability. As many have pointed out already, it's assuredly presented this way to prevent green from destroying planeswalkers, which really isn't in flavor for green at all. However, this does kill artifact creatures, enchantment creatures, awakened creatures, it hits a lot of stuff. If you play this in mono green Eldrazi and standard, you can bet nothing will get past it. That reach, it's, it's crazy good. Today we were also introduced to a new uncommon land cycle that Wizard says will probably accompany sets for a long time. Each of these lands taps for any of two colors and they come into play tapped. Simple enough. We've had these cycles before and we'll have them forever it seems. At least the art is cool. Plus, this will be a nice reward for drafters looking to color fix. I like them. 
While we didn't get a ton of spoilers today, I do think we got some doozies. I'm still trying to recover from seeing Kozilek's return. That nuke spell is going to be outrageous, I'm telling you. Modern playable, I hope. Anyways, let me know what you think about all these cards. Any that you're particularly excited about. Let's talk about it in the comments. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable Oath of the Gay Watch spoiler information you could ever need. This is the Manosaur, Sam Wedge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.